This must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense. It's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. Move it or Your compassion for me. You're fighting the reason. <laughs>
Reaper's curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Molok's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh! Your gaze falls on me, then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges, too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. It's from Carl. It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart- I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can do makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. You'll be rushed on my way! We won, right? So what does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. You'll be rushed on my if you want to live, I won't run away. Get out of here. 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 Unarmed? Hardly. By the 
way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it... deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? Magilu is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's... commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're the only one for me, honest! Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am. I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafayette, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> If you want to live, get out of my way. I'll end this quickly. <laughs> They were nothing. You'll be rushed on my board. Sorry to catch you down. Those purple leaves belong to a Salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. Uh, 
Another victory. You're fighting the real battle. Just getting warm.
Try and imitate us. Please. Grow, please. please. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Move it or die! I was just getting warmed up. You better be ready. They were nothing. Think you 
can dodge, just try! You're not hurt, are you? No! I'm fine! Don't get up! <laughs> We're finished here. Close one, but I am the victor.
Not worth my Hey, is everyone all right? Not worth my time. <laughs> Victory is out. I'll finish this quick. I won't improve by f- You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Think you can dodge? Just cross! Perfect mayhem! Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Look. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but... something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. You 
don't want to make me Not worth my time. <laughs> these fists.
looks like a dead end up ahead. Lafisette, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Ah, uh, look! Purple flowers! Yep, Solitoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Another barrier! That barrier... Even my Praetor Hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling home any flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right! Everyone, let's do this! But I'm this close! I want this! Form zero! Fantasizing and help us get rid of it. Eat it! Blah! Crush 
Collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look! Can we keep him? No. Hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. <sighs> you want it, you feed it. Take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. They call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Laffy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You've fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. It looks pretty. 
pretty tough. Yeah, I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it. It must be a new species. Incredible. A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Uh, that doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro, Aizen. I. I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly? It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're totally different! So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. Toma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Of, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Salatoma. Well, Pooh, how dull. Whew. i
finish this man. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon Rex Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. <laughs> 